If you ask me where the stock market is going to go in the next year, I tell you that I don't know. I'm someone who relies on data and models, and I'm not aware of any model that can accurately predict where the stock market is going to go in the next year. But interestingly enough, there are models that do a decent job of predicting where the stock market is going to go in the next 10 years. And I think this is because over the short term, such as a year, the stock market is driven by a lot of unpredictable factors, such as investor emotions. Whereas over a longer period of time, stock market seems to be influenced by more fundamental factors, such as how overvalued it is. And in the US, the most accurate model for predicting stock market trends seems to be the Aggregate Investor Allocation to Equities model, or AIAE model for short. And the way that this model works is simple. Uh, it looks at how much investors have already bought into the stock market. And if that ratio is high, then it predicts that stock markets won't return very much in the future, and vice versa. And the reason why this works is simple. If investors have already bought into uh, the stock market a lot, then they don't have the means or the willingness to buy more stocks. Whereas if they haven't bought much into the stock market, then they could do so in the future, and that increase in demand will lift the prices of stocks in the future. Now you might be wondering what the model says about the uh, stock market returns going forward from today. And unfortunately, the model doesn't have good news for us. It predicts that U.S. stocks are likely to average a little below 4% per year rate of return going forward. And that's much lower than the historical average that U.S. stocks are returned of about 9% per year. And it's lower even of uh, long-term bonds in the U.S. that currently yield around 4.5% per year. You might be wondering, what do you do with this information? Well, let me first say that the model isn't perfect. Like any model, there's some error around it, and this wouldn't be the first time that a model uh, didn't work as we expect it going forward. But what does give me pause is that there are other stock market models that predict the 10-year rate of return of U.S. stocks, and those models are also saying that the U.S. stock market is overvalued and are likely to return less than the historical rate of return going forward. So some people might be tempted to cut out U.S. stocks altogether. That's not the approach that I would take because having U.S. stocks in your portfolio provides diversification benefits. And like I said, those models don't tell us how the stock market is going to perform on a year-to-year -year basis. Uh, despite the gloomy outlook, it might do really well one year and if you don't have any U.S. stocks, you might miss out on those returns. But here's how I make use of this information. I would give more consideration to stock markets outside of the U.S. because those stock markets are not as overvalued as the U.S. stock mar markets are today. And I would also give consideration to those strategies that pick stocks in the U.S. that I believe will outperform the rest of the U.S. stock market. Now, I don't want to get into the specifics of those strategies in this video because that's a lengthier talk, but I'll be happy to uh, explain that to anyone who asks, and you can reach out to me using the link in the description of this video. I hope that this video has been useful, if not exactly uplifting, and if you have found it useful, then please subscribe to my channel.